Good evening um, and welcome. I'm wondering if there's anybody out there this time of night because it's a, it's a little late for me to be doing my vlog. But it's been a few days and um, I have said I'd do it tonight and I really didn't want to leave it any longer. I'm actually trying to have a little bit of a holiday this week which is why I haven't been so active. And tomorrow is going to be a beautiful day down here and I'm hoping to spend it with some of at least a couple of my kids. So for those of you who haven't met me and don't know me, um, I'm Kim Dunn. I'm a psychologist and founder of Positive Young Minds. Tonight I thought I'd take a little moment to have a chat to you about what we might do next week for uh, Mental Health Week. And I mentioned that maybe you may have a goal, something you would like to work on. Um, now this isn't about therapy because I'm not doing that in this forum but it's about we all have things that we would like to do it might be you might want to walk more or learn to meditate or eat better or drink more water or communicate a bit clearer be a bit more assertive whatever skill it is that you've been thinking about or maybe you've tried in the past and it hasn't um, you haven't really got very far you know, maybe you'd like to work on that next week I thought about the structure and if you're interested it's a good idea to start with writing down something you would like to change like to work on that by itself is not enough because if it was my god we would all be super fit super healthy fantastic you know well-run human beings who yeah it's not as simple as just wanting something to happen um, it, yeah, otherwise we'd all be doing it. it. It takes more than that. So where does this motivation come from to do it? So as well as writing down perhaps what you'd like to do or change, have a think about why. Why? You know, what, why do we want to walk more? Um, you know, obviously it's mental health week, so the things we'll be doing would be designed to improve our mental health. But why is that important to us? Um, I know for me, I want to be healthy, so I'm around for my kids as much as I possibly can be. I want to see my grandkids. Um, you know, I, I want to be alive and vibrant and both mentally and physically. So that's a huge motivator um, that gets me off my butt when I don't feel like moving some days. And you will have other values and other reasons behind what you'd like to change. So perhaps write that down. So if you've got that far, then you, you're you know you're doing really really well so the structure of next week I'm going to talk uh, I'm going to talk about I've divided about five days so your values so touching on why these things are important to you refining goals so making sure your goals follow the smart principles so they're specific measurable attainable re you know realistic and relevant to you which links back to your values and timely so if you have this goal and it's I want to be um, a really positive person now that is a fantastic goal but how are you going to measure it how do you know if you've achieved it I don't know um, there are ways of doing it and it's a matter of setting those things up over what time frame you know when do you want to achieve this goal by you know, why? Why is it important to, to be this? And how, is, how would that look like for you? Um, the third one is identifying the obstacles and barriers uh, that stand in the way of us achieving our goals and also the support and what the positive things around us are that we can, we can draw on. I spoke briefly about one of those in one of my last vlogs, which is creating a space which makes it easy to get into a routine. And it was the one about you know having the same chair to sit in and do the mindfulness meditation. If you haven't seen that, catch up on it. It's, um, you'll find it with all my other videos, either on this Facebook site or on YouTube. It might even be easier for you to access it on YouTube. If you're looking for it on Facebook, go to videos um, on the left-hand side and click all videos, because they don't all show up in the stream. So, which can be a bit frustrating. It's you kind of got to know how to how to get around that. The other one, oh yeah. So the fourth one is setting up a reward system or an accountability system, and that just means 
if you set for example if you set up a spreadsheet sometimes just filling that in yourself and checking off you've done these things is a reward you know when you can be inherently rewarded by what you've done um, it's a great way so talk a little bit about about rewards and the fifth one is about maintenance how do we make this a part of our life um, hi I can see someone's joined me um, if you have joined me live just send me a little hi so then your name pops up and I can tell who you are so the fifth one as I said it's about maintaining a habit how do we do that um, it, we might start, we might go off and we do something really, really well for a week and then we fall in a heap. Something happens, we get sick, a kid gets sick and you fall off. Now this is a normal part of change and relapse is, is normal, it's to be expected and there are ways that uh, we can work on then getting back on, on the horse and continuing that habit. So I'm wondering if, how this is sounding um, to you. If it sounds like something you're interested in, great. I really look forward to um, helping step you through some of these things next week. So the first step is deciding something. And it's okay if it's a bit vague for now because we can um, tighten that up. I can help you with that. And also happy if you want to write it in the comments that we can do a little bit of work in the group about tightening it up. So... What you want to do and a little bit about you know why and if you've tried before and it hasn't really worked or you've got no idea how to go about you know being a more positive person or communicating a bit better that's fine too we're going to start somewhere and and hopefully together we can go on a little bit of a journey next week so to reiterate this is not therapy this is about um it's about improving your mental health from whatever state you're at even if you're at a pretty good mental health state we can always do better so i'm going to leave it there for you tonight and um, i will catch up with you probably not tomorrow unless something wonderful happens um, i want to share with you but i said i'm going to take a bit of a, a day or two two off and i will catch you later in the week so if you have any questions, write in the comments. If you've got friends who you think would love to be involved in this, share, share the video, tag them, more the merrier. Um, and yeah, so until then, if you believe like I do, takes a village to raise a child, join me on this journey. Share it with your friends so together we can raise wonderful adults. Okay, bye for now.